those who are still bearish in stock market or those who are still think that the stock market will go down we can see on regular basis that the stock market if it is not moving up it is not moving down either anyways we are going to analyze the stock market based on the regular price movement and in this video obviously we are going to discuss about the three major indices namely spx nasdaq and dji or dow jones and we will see how the trading session will pan out for today and uh, this is the snapshot of previous days closing and you can see most of them were in green okay so even if somebody is thinking that uh, you know we have some uh, bearish trade which is uh, happening so i mean on the face you can see that most of them are in green and we can also see that the you know weeks close because uh, last week uh, when the index is closed most of them are in green so with this let us start analyzing the price movement of uh, the major indices but before that if you haven't yet subscribe my channel yet just hit on the subscription button also hit on the notification bell along with the all button to get my updated video notification so uh, here we can clearly see this is s&p 500 the most stable one okay uh, uh, apart from dow jones so uh, I have said this thing in my previous video that this is the range on the downside you have 38 38 89 and 39 08 and on the upside we have 4021 and 4029 4030 so this is what I have said and you can clearly see after retesting the lows of 3908 S&P 500 started moving higher and it is indeed moving towards 4021 and 4030 and once 4030 has crossed that we will see because this is the this is the range that we are going to focus on in today's trading session so once s&p 500 started crossing and started sustaining above most specifically above 4030 we have uh, 4121 then we have uh, 4208 and we have 4328 on the upside so this is what we have here for s&p 500 going forward coming on to dow jones the dow jones uh, is very near to one of its uh, major resistance if you are looking at the big swing and that's why as you can clearly see it is very near to its resistance and that's why it is important for you to understand that if you are looking for a trade in dow jones you must wait the dow jones to at least get crossed and sustain over 34310 okay so you have to wait or even if you are taking a long trade the uh, target we have here is uh, 34300 and 34000 in between 34300 and 310 if it get crossed then we have 35000 370 380 and 35,000 uh, 490 500 so right now the levels that we are looking at for dow jones is 33,300 and 34,300 this is the basic range a thousand point range and uh, if only it get cleared then we are talking about the rest of the things but uh, the focus is in between 33 and 34,000 for dow jones coming on to the high beta indices which is a nasdaq composite nasdaq composite is actually nasdaq composite is actually uh very near to a breakout okay because it's been trading in between as you can see it's been trading in between 11000 and 11240 and you have your immediate support of 11105 so if you are looking at nasdaq and if nasdaq continues to sustain above 11105 and stop loss of 11000 and most importantly the only thing that we are focusing on is 11240 once nasdaq crossed 11240 once nasdaq crossed 11240 we have 11500 11626 and the big targets to 12250 okay so we are here to observe the breakout 
and once nasdaq crossed this specific section okay or in terms of uh, levels 11240 we are here for a big swing on the upside going forward so this is the end of the video thanks for watching